going on there, YouTube? Uh, just a quick video talk about these rebuildable scale Punisher shafts that we got from RC4 Drive. Um, I drove, I've driven the Blazer, I think, twice with them on it now. And the uh, part that makes them rebuildable keeps falling out. So we're going to try some Loctite, but I've lost a few of the pieces. But uh, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so on the shaft itself, pointing at it here, you've got <clears throat> two screws on each side. And that holds this pin in on the bottom and keeps that, that little joint all together. Uh, you can see on this one I've replaced it with, uh, these were some uh, zinc coated scale bolts that I got from uh, Locked Up RC. And uh, yeah, because I lost two of my original bolts that go in there. Um, I didn't even think about it when I put these on that I should probably take those apart and lock tight them. I didn't even really look to see how they were re rebuildable. I just threw them on and rolled with it. And on, they're on the blue truck on my blue Hilux. I, I used the rebuildable shafts for the front because they were the length I needed. I have the non-rebuildable in the rear because that's the length I needed. So, um, yeah, didn't even really think about it, the re rebuildable ones being that different. So I cut these bolts down and used them. This is the bolt that goes in it. I'm not sure if you can even see what that looks like. Tiny, tiny little stuff here. And yeah, I've got a set of these nut drivers, but I don't have one that fits it, so I'm using a little adapter that comes with RC4 drive scale hardware. And I've, I've been pulling all those out and lock tighten those. So I, honestly, I, I'm kind of disappointed with that. It just seems like something else that I'm going to lose. More little screws. Um, I'm hoping these hold a little better. They're a little bit more robust. Uh, this only time will tell. But uh, just a heads up, if you've got these or you're looking at getting these rebuildable Punisher shafts, be sure to disassemble them and lock tight them. It's a lot easier before you put it on the vehicle. <laughs> so I've got that uh, custom 3D printed skid plate transfer case mount on the blue Hilux and it blocks the uh, yoke so you can't really get it. It's, it's just a pain to try and rebuild these while they're on the truck. So. And that truck, that, that transfer case mount even makes it hard to get the drive shaft off itself. So, just something to look at. I mean, it's it's still a good shaft. I like the the way it looks a lot. And just this end, I put these larger uh, bolts in it. The scale hardware. It uh, feels a lot tighter. And I lock tighted them. I'm still using to me a thread locker. Even though the tube's all busted open, but <laughs> still works. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. I've already done the blue truck. It has the same shaft in the front, and it has the standard non-rebuildable in the back. But I uh, just thought I would share that with y'all. Just a quick video. Uh, give you a heads up. So anyways, thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more to come.